Hey, it's the Tammy Tell Me True Show, and it's Sunday, so you know what that means. Wait, maybe you don't know what that means. Cook something! Yeah! So, today we are going to bake something really simple, and I'm not going to hurt anyone with this. I'm going to put it down. Uh, we're going to bake something really simple. I don't know about you, but when I get up uh, during the week when I'm working, even if I'm working from home, which we all are doing a lot of these days, um, I even don't even have time for, to make breakfast when I'm uh, at home. So these are very quick and simple breakfast muffin. They're called oatmeal muffins. And they're kind of like if oatmeal and bread pudding had a baby. Okay, very delicious, really simple, and very, very healthy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop walnuts because I like to add walnuts to my muffins. Um, you could put any kind of nuts you want, but we're going to chop walnuts. Okay, quick tip, by the way, we keep our nuts in the freezer because it preserves them for much longer. So these were in the freezer. And I'm going to just, you know how I like to eyeball, eyeball about, we'll end up being about a cup or three quarters of a cup. And when they're out of the freezer, they're really crisp and lovely. Okay, have all of my nuts chopped. And the key thing for this um, recipe is you're gonna put dry ingredients in one bowl and wet ingredients in the other. So this is gonna be my dry ingredient bowl. Stick those babies in there. Okay, next we're going to add the oatmeal to the dry bowl, okay? So it takes five cups of rolled oats, all right? I actually like to do four cups of rolled oats and one cup of the quick oats because I think that it makes it a little bit, it binds together nicely, nicer. Um, so I mix it up a little bit. And this I do measure. I do not eyeball because it is very important to have the right absorption because we're going to add the liquid next. Next, we're going to add salt. Now, kids, do not try this at home. I actually measure my salt over my bowl because I have a very steady hand. But they tell you not to do that because what if you overpour? But I don't. Next, my favorite buddy, cinnamon. Now, cinnamon is an optional to this recipe. I like it with cinnamon no matter what. One teaspoon of cinnamon into the dry bowl, okay? Okay, I like to give this just a little light toss just to incorporate everything because once you put the wet ingredients in here, you don't want to have to over mix. Okay. Next, the wet ingredients. So I didn't tell you this, but this is all about bananas. Now I know all of you have been making banana bread like crazy during the pandemic, guilty as well, um, not so much anymore. But this is great for those overripe bananas. Now it calls for two and a half cups of ripe bananas. And don't be afraid when the bananas look like that, that's basically sugar and yumminess, natural sugar, okay? So we're going to put two cups worth. Okay, so I have what to me is not even two cups yet. So I'm going to continue adding bananas. Now I didn't have completely overripe bananas, but I do have plenty of bananas. So I'm gonna add, ooh, I got three just like I wanted. So I'm gonna add a couple more. Again, bruises and all. Okay, now that our bananas are naked and in the bowl, they're naked. So you're just gonna mash them up, super basic. I like to make sure these are really mashed really well because you don't want big chunks. You want this to be through the neighbor town. Okay, next, my friend Vanilla. You've seen this before. Again, sometimes if you don't have a steady hand, measure elsewhere, plus too much to that vanilla isn't a bad thing. One teaspoon of vanilla. Now for sweetener, you have choices. You could use five packets of a sweetener. You could use maple syrup. You could use agave. Um, I like to use honey. We were just talking about honey, weren't we, the other day? So I'm going to use honey. Again, this is going to be 12 muffins, so this is going to be nothing. It's five tablespoons of honey. Take it out. 
I like to be precise with the sweetener on this one because with the bananas, the banana also is a sweetener. Okay, so now some healthy oil. I use coconut oil a lot. Um, I use the kind, this kind that does not, it's unflavored. Okay, you could actually in this recipe use flavored coconut oil, it would be delicious. Um, but you could use another oil. I just wouldn't use olive oil because that would impart the olive oil taste in it. So it calls for a quarter of a cup. And this recipe actually calls for a quarter of a cup plus a tablespoon. Um, I don't know why, it's actually a quarter. But let's do it right. Someone in a cooking kitchen was testing it and being very precise. Okay, so last wet ingredient is kind of odd because it's not normally the way we cook, but it's obviously because we're cooking with, with dry oats. So the next ingredient is water. You're gonna put two and two thirds cup of water in. Footnote, if you've used maple syrup or another liquid sweetener, they tell you to cut back a little bit on the water, but I did not, I used honey, so I'm gonna put in two and two thirds cup of water. My filtered Brita water. Two. Okay, so now you've got banana oil soup. Looks weird, trust me, I know. And then you're going to put the wet into the dry. Now, I actually might not have had a big enough bowl, but I'll be okay. So look. I'm just gonna put all of this in there. And notice I have a nice big spoon. This is a hand mix thing. I suppose you could use a mixer. I do not. Okay, and then you just start, I usually fold from the, you know, up and through the middle. And you're just gonna mix this well until it's all incorporated. And the oats are already soaking up a lot of that water, so you're good. Okay, so this is all mixed up. By the way, a little quick um, extra tip. Just like anything, you could add other things in here. Um, some chopped dates are really delicious. You can also put some chocolate chips in there, which I don't do, but my friend Angela, who's skinny, does. Um, and I, you could add anything. You could add all the yummy stuff that you want. You could make them more, um, more nutritious if you want, but they're really good just like this. And I lined these with foil liners. And another little tip is I use a gravy ladle to put all of my muffins in their little cups. I find it works best. It's kind of like oblong and you don't spill as much. And the foil liners are great because you're going to have these to freeze or for the, throughout the week and you can reheat them if you want. Um, so I use the foil, but you could definitely use paper if you want to. So we're just gonna fill up. I don't overdo them at the beginning. You can always even out at the end. Okay, so now we have our muffin tin filled. And while you weren't looking, I preheated the oven to 380 degrees. I have no idea. That's kind of an odd temperature, but that's what the recipe calls for. Um, and then you're going to keep them in there for 21 minutes and, or until they're nice and toasty brown. So here we go. Let's stick them in the oven. Don't look at my butt. Don't look at my butt. Okay, you have to look at my butt now. Okay, check these out, they're ready. See how they got a little brown on the top? They're great. So then I'm just gonna leave these here for just maybe five minutes. They're gonna cool and then we'll take them out of the pan. Okay, it's been five minutes. And then I'm basically going to take one out. Now, these actually are really much better if you let them cool completely. Um, in the pan, they, you can take them out. And you'll leave them and let them get nice and firm and then they're good for on the go if you're gonna run out the door and then you can eat them like a muffin but i actually like to eat them like bread warm bread pudding and i suppose if you wanted to you could also drizzle something delicious over them but you don't need to mm -hmm. oh yeah mm. Mm -mm -mm. So there you have it, a very healthy breakfast that is a muffin. I think of it as bread pudding. They freeze really well. You can throw them in the toaster oven and heat them up, or you can just 
keep them in the fridge. I like them cold. I like them warm. You can grab one on your way out the door. Um, they're great to just have in the fridge. I love them. They're very healthy, and I hope you enjoy if you make them. Thank you.